Hi guys and welcome to the video. My name is Clinton Loftals and you're tuned into photomanipulation.com. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to dodge and burn your images using curves adjustment layers. So if you're interested in advanced photo manipulation techniques, crazy photoshop work or considering a career in digital art, be sure to like and subscribe as we put out videos a week. Let's roll the video. <music> So this is the image we are going to be working on and we're going to do some dodge and burn to the image and we're going to get it to something somewhere like this. So all that's been done to this image basically is the dodge and burn and then a colour grade after and it just really gives you that painterly um, feel. And if you like this dodge and burn tutorial then feel free to check out my Hollywood processing course. There is a link underneath this video and it covers dodge and burn and light flares and all those kind of things. And I think you'll really like it if you like this tutorial. So let's get on with the dodge and burn. So what I'm gonna do is let's go to this image here. So let's first of all, just talk a little bit about dodge and burn. So dodge and burn is basically just darkening what's already dark and highlighting what's already light. So that sounds a little bit weird, but what that does is it creates contrast. And you can use this in many ways. You can use dodge and burn to create form. You can use dodge and burn to guide the viewer's eye around the image. And you can use dodge and burn for many, many other things. You can use it for skin retouching. But what we're gonna do mainly today is probably pull out a little bit of detail and create a little bit of form and just get that painterly feel. So what I'm gonna do is just bring up this um, image here. So when I dodge and burn the face, I always start with the face, but what you can do is you, if you don't know where to start, just look at the contouring kind of guides, what you find on Google. So this is a good example here. So don't look at the, the like the color tones of the, um, the, the lines here, just look at the lines. So let's look at it as dark and light. So basically, if you kind of follow these guidelines on these contouring uh, masks here, what they've got on the face, you won't go far wrong when you dodge and burn an image. So you've got basically the highlights where the skin uh, or the face protrudes and you've got the shadows where it sinks in. So you've got around the face, you've got, um, you've got these shadows here at the side of the nose, on the lips as well, they haven't put it on here, obviously, because this is makeup. But then you've got the kind of the highlights on the forehead and around the eyebrow here, the top of the lip, and then you've got this dark under the chin as well. So if you then also, when you learn to do the face like that, if you can then apply the same technique when you're doing the rest of the body, you'll be pretty good, I reckon, with the dodge and burn. So first of all now, let's go and create our dodge and burn adjustment layers. So what I'm gonna do is create two curves adjustment layers. Let's turn one off because we don't need that now. Let's go to the first one. Let's call this Dodge. So I'm just going to type that in on the computer. And then what I'm going to do is double click the curves here and I'm just going to pull this from the center up about one and a half or maybe just over squares. And then what I'm going to do is press, click on the layer mask, press Control I, and that will invert the mask and it will hide what we've just done. So then we want to turn on the top layer and we want to rename this burn. And then you want to double click on the curves adjustment here. And then we want to pull that down again about one and a half squares maybe. Like so. And then again, press control I and that hides the adjustment that we've just made. And the final step now is we want to change these uh, to the luminosity blend mode. So what that does is it just stops any color shifts when we are dodging and burning because it only focuses on the tone of the image and not the color. So finally, then we want to hold down shift, select both the burn and the dodge layer, right click, go to group from layers, and we want to call this dodge and burn. Like so. So we have our group now, our dodge and, layer, uh, dodge and burn uh, adjustment layer group. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start dodging and burning. And the way this works is we basically paint on the layer mask. So we make sure our brush is set to white. And then what we do is we set our flow to around about, I would say 13%. And then let's just press control plus to zoom in. And I always start on the face. 
So let's get right into the face. And then all we're doing really is revealing what's underneath this layer mask here. So let's start with dodge. So what I would do first is I would come in and I would just dodge this nose. If we remember the diagram, we've got some light area here on the forehead. And then we have this area here. So this could be too strong. So let's just put the floor down a little bit. And this is adjustable. So if it's too strong, you can always adjust it later. So let's go down. We've done the eyebrow. Let's do uh, this side. And let's get into the eye here. And let's just add some there. And then there's a bit of a curve here on the eyelid. And then there's a highlight here, a bit of a highlight here. So wherever there's a highlight, just dodge, just go over it. So we've got the this area here. Let's make sure I'm set on a soft brush. Yep. Like so. And then we've got highlight here. So remember when you used to trace back in the, well, I don't have to do it anymore, but back in my day, they used to, uh, at school they used to make you trace over images so you basically got this semi-transparent film and it could see what was underneath it and you would just draw on top of it and trace whatever the image is so it's a little bit like that so let's just I could look at it as in what gives a uh, cylindrical object its curve and it's basically the shadow and the highlights so again that's kind of what we're doing here we just enhancing the highlight where the curve is and then enhancing the shadows where it drops off and that gives the image depth so let's just go over here let's get this cig cigarette there we go again don't be afraid if you go too much a little bit of a highlight here let's make sure we haven't missed anywhere you can lighten the eye a little bit if you want So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch to burn and with burn it's usually a little bit stronger so I suggest putting this down a little bit so let's put it to nine and then I'm going to come in and I'm just going to start burning all the darks so here a bit around this eye here this eye here kind of these eyelashes here so it's good to take a lot of time when you're doing this I sometimes spend uh, maybe an hour sometimes dodging and burning, but you, it depends how far you want to take it. The more you dodge and burn, the more painterly your image will be. So let's just get down here where those shadows are. There's a shadow here, a shadow under this nose, a little bit of one here. You can darken this area a little bit more than the other eye because it's supposed to be a black eye. Let's just darken this part of the nose. If you remember that diagram, it went round the kind of the outside of the face as well. So let's just bring this down under this chin area here. So these lips here on the outside of this lip, and then on the edge of this lip where it sinks back in, and then the top of this uh, bottom lip as well it sinks into the mouth and then we've got this cigarette here again creating making it giving it some depth by burning the outside and we've got under this chin here as well a little bit maybe this the edge of this nose here So it may look like we're not done anything yet. So let me just turn that off and on. So it's definitely doing something. It just you, sometimes you might need to reset your eyes a little bit. So let's just go and then darken this area around here a little bit more, like so. It's maybe a bit too much. So I'll just undo some of that. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to now move to the hair. So we've done the face, so I'll then uh, it's best to do it in sections. So I'll do the face, then the hair, then move to the neck and the chest, and then one arm, then the other arm, and do it in sections so you can just keep track of what you've done. 
So I'm moving to the hair now, so let's go to dodge. So you want to resize your brush as well uh, to the area that you're actually dodging and burning. With your hair it's a bit difficult, but for example if I'm doing this bit of nose here I want to kind of resize the brush to there and then paint that way. If I'm doing this um, eye maybe make it a little bit bigger, if the cheek I can make it bigger than that. Then if I went to the lip I would go back down, resize it that way and you resize the brush with the open and close up brackets. So let's just get back on with the hair now. So I'm just going to again highlight where the highlights in the hair are. So we've got here, here. You can be a little bit more messy with the hair. I'm just going to move around the image now. So there's not a lot to do on this hair actually. Sometimes you can get these curls down here actually. So you see the curve there in the hair, make sure you get those curves. And again. Get these curves here. So we don't need to go overboard now. So let's now switch back to the burn. Again, we can just move in between these as we want and then start burning this hair. So again, just getting it in the shadows. Like so. Don't have to be crazy with this. Let me zoom out. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna move to a neck. So let's go back to dodge. So you got a little bit of a highlight here. You got a little bit of a highlight there and then the rest you can just burn like so. And then let's move to a shoulder so you've got a, like a highlight here. And then let's burn, let's just burn this back of the here like so. And then if we zoom out, we can do the arm now. So let's go down the arm. So you've got this shadow coming all the way down here. You got a little bit of a shadow coming here. You've also got the white coming down as well. Got the darkness here. Let's go to the dodge. So we've got this shoulder part here. Let's just kind of give it a little bit of a dodge there on the breast. Now we've got these curves here. So the creases in the in the claws, you can be a little bit stronger with them. And then we'll burn again where the crease goes in. Let's burn the underneath this as well. So I'm just burning in between those um, creases now. Again, the more you do this, the more you'll get used to it. It's not difficult at all, so I'm just going to burn. So I dodged the back of the bum there. So let's move in and let's just get sort this hand out. So hands, you can get some nice dodge and burn on them. So again, you just want to dodge the highlight here. Like so. So where the, the kind of curve of the finger is and then we burn. We just want to make sure we get in there. And then burn the edges a little bit, like so. Let's go back to dodge and let's just start dodging some of these creases in the bandage, like so, like that. start burning some of these creases in between. Sometimes you can really see this working as you go, but sometimes you just need to turn off hair and then turn it back on again. So let's put the curve there and then we've got a little bit of a burn here. So 
So let's just zoom out and let's just have a look what we've done there. So that's before, that's after, before, after. Again, you can spend a lot of more time on this. You can go right into the details of the face and be, so let's just zoom in. So you can get this close if you want and you can burn and you can just make sure you get every part of the eyelash, the dark of the eye. So let's just get the eyelashes again. And then you could even make sure you go and get all these little creases as well. The more time you spend on this, the better it will look and the more illustrated or car um, painterly it will look too. So let's move out. So again, that's without, that's with. It's just adding a lot of depth to the image. But what you can also do then is you can just duplicate this group by pressing Ctrl and J. And what that will do is it'll duplicate the dodge and burn and add another one on top. And then what you can do is just lower the opacity. So that looks, that's definitely too much. So let's bring that up again somewhere like there and if it's too much on the face what you can do is then um, add a layer mask press B make sure your brush is set to black by pressing X and then you can just paint it away where the, it's a little bit too strong like on the forehead a little bit here as well and on the nose maybe the top of this lip like so and that was just by duplicating the group and lowering the opacity like so and just getting that painterly feel and that's basically it so again the more time you spend on this the more it, you will get the better at it so as well what you could actually do is i'm not going to do it this one because it'll take a while but what you could have done is gone in and just burnt all these uh, tattoo patterns as well separately um, you could spend more time on the hair, more time on the creases. The more time you spend on dodge and burn, the better you'll get and the better it will look. So again, um, thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. I hope you got some value from it. If you did, it would be awesome if you could like this video or share it and subscribe to the channel. We're putting out five videos a week and they're getting better every single week. And we are truly grateful for all the support that you've been giving us. And again, if you did like this dodge and burn tutorial, I go more into depth in these kind of stylation techniques in my course, Hollywood Processing. And there is a link underneath this video. So thanks a lot, guys. I'm truly grateful for you watching this video and I will see you guys next time.